This video is made for adult collectors because it's a third party toy and mostly adults buy those anyways. Old third party used to come out with the wackiest toys, upgrade kits that were actually upgrade kits and not just gap fillers, which aren't bad. I just miss the old upgrades that would turn figures from this to this. A lot of third party toys back then had the charm of being individual toys as well as things that could interact with the current Hasbro play patterns available on the market, and this was no slouch. Make Toys tried to tackle the Fallen with their release of Chaos Paladin, but with a twist. It's a power core combiner sort of. So first off, you get this base figure. It stands there and looks a tad disproportionate. He has a lot of chunk that doesn't know where to go or how to interact with the rest of himself, and that greatly limits its posability. For a scout slash small deluxe size thing, its articulation is not great even for the time. Limited head, limited arms and legs, feet that don't really do a good job at keeping him stable, it's all right. Couple that with the weapon storage, which makes him want to topple over, and man, this, this mini robot just is not my favorite part of the set, that's for sure. But you don't buy this for this thing. You buy it for the other thing, the Fallen. It's basically just converting the torso and then plugging the limbs on with power core pegs to form this. The Dreamwave Fallen-ish. Horrible patly shit aside. The Fallen design is actually neat, being the inspiration for the orange and black he had in Revenge of the Fallen. The deco is lovely, and Make Toys' rendition of this is super clean. All that line work and paint is done very well, and it's like in the lines. I know a lot of early third-party stuff like this back then would have some sort of like paint issues or like line work issues because everyone was still starting out, but this here is extremely clean. I really do like the way the orange is distributed. It doesn't feel random like a typical transformery sort of design. The torso also looks like a blast furnace, kind of makes me wish it came with like flame effects. I know there are custom ones that exist and PA made a video on them ages ago, but I would like if Make Toys actually made some that went with this toy. Head sculpt is great, but I feel it's a bit too round to me. There are some parts that I do wish were sharper, but it's not terrible. The plastic though feels Okay, it's not the best thing in the world, feeling very soapy and rough in places definitely feels old, but it's not terrible. If you've ever encountered fans project or fans hobby plastic, because they're both the same person, it feels like that, but a little bit worse. I have broken it though, because the instructions kind of suck in detailing everything this toy does. You have to go searching for all of its gimmicks because it has a lot. And so in that search for his gimmicks, I broke the orange bit on the leg that came out. I can just glue it back in, but yeah, be careful not to shove anything in there. It's not power core compatible. His posing is still limited. The way the limbs attach leaves the articulation, unfortunately, not great in crucial areas because those are just connection points. They're not actual joints. He has trigger happy shoulders that don't work very well, hip skirts that also don't move out of the way well enough, and the lack of heels also hurts this thing, and the ankles not going forward and back really limits how you can stand this guy up. But he looks good just standing there a lot of the time. If his fists weren't that weird shape, he would look a lot nicer standing there menacingly, but they're a slight weird shape that throw it off to me a little bit. Now the gimmicks. There's a lot. It's basically all power core related, but it's still neat as hell provided it works. Let me let me show you. So as you might have noticed throughout this entire video, by looking at the toy, a lot of it is, well, there's power core peg, power core peg, power core peg, power core, power core, power core, uh, power core, and these are attached by power core. There's a lot of it. And then there's even more stuff hidden inside the figure. There's a lot of really cool power core sort of compatibility that was lost because this line only lasted a year and then it vanished. But it was cool to see third party companies actually trying to sort of dig into that. Like there's power core ports on the top of his hand. Let's just get into it. So I have, I have a torso guy here and you look at this and you go, oh, that's great, right? You can combine them with this and it will look cool. And it does look cool. There's one glaring issue. This guy's power core pegs are like a 10th of a millimeter bigger than this guy's power core pegs. And these are all the same size. All the Hasbro ones are the exact same size. He fell over. But this one's a tad bit bigger. So plugging power core drones into him, I, I'm, I'm scared about that because I don't wanna rip these pegs off because 
like I said, the plastic is not the greatest because it's early third party, so there are problems with that. But let's get into what's hidden on this guy first. So if you open this up on his wrist, right, you can actually pop his wrist off and then somehow get this Gatling gun out of here. There's a tiny little Gatling gun in his wrist, right? That's cool. That's pretty neat. Or you can open the legs up and inside are bigger Gatling guns on power core pegs. Rip off the wrist. And now you have an actual Gatling gun coming out of his arm. That's pretty neat. And these do plug into the back of, actually, do I have a power core drone? It's the front, but whatever. You can plug these into the front and that actually looks like some sort of flying car thing with a gun on the front. Neat. But yeah, those do store inside here and they're not the most solid connections, so they always fall out, like always. Now, one very weird gimmick I noticed is with the foot. So you have the foot here. First of all, these slide off and I don't think that's intentional. So I'm gonna glue those back on, but you have this little handle hidden in the bottom here. If I can get it out, it is five millimeter, I believe. No five mil toy. That's a, that's not, that's fine. He definitely fell. Here we go, Cosmos. He can hold his foot. Yay. Um, I believe this is because you can actually put the Gatling gun in here and then he can hold it. But like, then he's got no foot. So I don't understand the point of that gimmick, but yeah, it's not the, the it, it, that's definitely like 4.8 millimeters and not five because it doesn't really fit that well. But, oh well, he's also covered in three millimeter clips. You got him here, 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 here on the feet. Um, I believe there's more on the smaller robot as well. So there's a lot of three mil clips. But now let's actually take the limbs off. Ah, there we go. Eh. And let's get this idiot and start. See, that goes on very easily. And that's because they're not the same size which is really unfortunate. Ugh. But that looks really cool. That looks very cool. They did make an actual like version of this in this deco for this figure specifically. It's a little bit harder to find than this and this was already hard to find. But yeah, isn't that sick? Isn't that so neat? I, I love that. I absolutely adore that. That's the reason I wanted to like do this as a roll because I wanted to actually show you how cool this thing was. It's so cool to just have that there. I want to get the separate limbs for this at some point because I still, I, I want to keep the fallen in the fallen mode, but that's cool. You can, like I said, combine these onto here. I'm going to risk it. Ah, there we go. That looks stupid. And now it won't come off. Come off. Ah. Oh. But yeah, that's basically all it really does gimmick wise, but there's a lot of stuff crammed in here. I don't have any three mil clips on me at the moment, but like you could clip in Dark Mount's guns or uh, what's his name? Cop's gun or whatever onto this figure. And that's just, that's just very cool. I do wish like there was like a sort of molded in blast furnace in his chest, but yeah, he's like, he's got a face there. Hello. Now he also has an alt mode, two of them technically. And that requires you ripping him up and transforming the core figure and limbs into two tanks. Do not plug the missile pods all the way in. I've had several people tell me it broke on them and the pegs came clean off trying to remove them. And the one time I plugged mine in, mine got stuck and I am never doing that again. Please be careful. But these alt modes are fine. Nothing super special about them and they just feel like a mess of limbs because that's what they are. But it's not terrible. I like how the cannons have the sword split in half on top, just wish they actually plugged in properly. Oh, and neither of them have wheels, so static tanks just slide around everywhere. Unless you want to pretend they're like hover tanks, but they have treads, so it's a bit weird. It's an alright set. I'm so happy to have it, but it has aged kind of poorly. Like most third-party stuff, it's not made to last as long as the official stuff because it doesn't go through as many tests and all that sort of crap. And here it shows. I'm being very careful with it ever since that little clip snapped off and I just leave it on display. It is also not worth its aftermarket $200 price tag. If you can get it for like 80 to 100, then yeah, uh, in box, then I would say that is good. But anything higher than that, you really aren't getting your money's worth. I paid more than 100 Canadian for this at TFCon, and I don't feel like I got my money's worth out of it. I do really like it, 
but it is very difficult to recommend for the prices it goes for on eBay. That's just way too much. If you can, like, my friend once found one on Baiyi for about 80 bucks, I believe. That's completely fine, but anything more than that, I would say just pass. But that's been my look at Make Toys the Fallen. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.